viewers, you are welcome to the Youth in Focus show. On this program, we are sourced with experience, entertainment, knowledge, and advice from people to the youth and young ones who think their life has hit a rock or is at its hardest stage. On this show, we bring to you guests whose career, life experience, and daily activities goes a long way to impact the youth and the society in a very positive light. Stay with me for Sia Bebe Sandra as I go on a short commercial break. When I return, I will introduce to you who my guest is for today's show. Soft Media becomes the first digital marketing company in Africa with deals in movie distribution to Netflix, Hulu, etc. and music distribution to iTunes, Spotify, etc. Soft Media is the first digital marketing company and the, the leading when it comes to marketing in Africa. Show. I am Fosia Bebe Sandra, your host for the program. And today, as I said earlier, we have a very beautiful and a smiling guest with me. And she goes by the name Cherry Akisaja. Well, hello, Cherry. You're welcome to the show. Thank you, Your Honorable. How are you doing and how has your day been? I'm good, by the grace of God. And um, my day has been cool, very cool. Okay, we thank God. Cherry, I know you very well personally, let me say I know you. But then to my viewers, they don't know you. So if you ask Cherry Akusha Jakuma, who is Cherry Akusha Jakuma? Thank you for your question. Uh, Cherry Akusha Jakuma Jan in person is one hardworking lady. Um, let me say the youngest CEO on her own. Um, I'm a youth advocate, a YouTuber, a voiceover artist, an actress, a model, and you can just name it, just name the rest, a makeup artist at a peak, yes. Wow, that is a huge tax at hand. And you are a YouTuber, youth advocate, model, actress, voiceover artist. Like, at your age, can you read your age? What was your age? I'm 24, yes. 24, and you've been able to handle all this. Like, how do you combine all this together, all these tasks? Okay, um, it's basically how to schedule your time. Everything is about timing. So if you don't know how to schedule your time, how to um, keep your time very well, and then know how to go about things, you might not be able to do a multiple tax thing. Do you understand it? So um, this is how I manage it. Okay. So maybe if I know today, I schedule a day for maybe YouTube and so I can um, shoot about three videos in a day. Some are lifestyle, relationship, blogs, random blogs and all that. And uh, sometimes personal interviews with other people. Mm -hmm. So, yes. So I set my days and my priorities and then the timing. And that is how I go about it. Okay. That, that is very good. A very good attitude to keep it on. And I would like to know... How do you face challenges? I know in our daily activities, we face challenges. Can we know some of the challenges you, you go in in handling all your works? Yeah, I I went through a whole lot. Um, especially when we take YouTube and, okay, uh, you know, as a YouTuber or let's say as a personality whereby you, you, you handle the camera, you want to showcase and show people what you got and then maybe your content creations and all that. Um, it comes with a whole lot of challenges. Was one, you need to get a good camera, you need to get um, a crew, like as in people that you work with, and there's a whole lot of thing involved in it. Like um, we talk about financially, physically, because you need to be strong in order to carry yourself about. 
So if you're not that strong, you can't do all these things. You understand it? So and there are challenges in it. It's not, there's, there's no easy route to heaven or there's no easy route to, to, to Zion, you understand? You have to go through some rough steps. You have to, um, as, as a child, when you're growing up, you have to um, um, rise and fall, you crawl before you stand, then you start moving a step, one, one step after the other. And that's how it all came about. So it wasn't just as in, Boom, it just came like that, and then I'm just there. No, it came gradually. So it's, it's all about process. Yes, so it's a process. Uh, it started from one point to the other. So when you compare um, my videos, my old videos, you can see that, oh, this camera quality wasn't good at all. <laughs> People will laugh at me. People will be like, hey, Che, why do you like doing interviews and then you be clapping? People will be like, and why is the camera looking this one? And why is the camera shaking? And why, you know, I don't even have a, I didn't have a tri tripod. It's, I didn't, I didn't have a, a good phone to shoot. But, um, in all this, I used my phone in doing everything. I used my phone. I use and shoot in my videos. Wow, yeah. that, is, that is very good. And to my viewers out there, if, if you're waiting for you to get an opportunity to buy a big camera or a quality camera to start your project, please, you're missing out. You're missing out on a big thing. She started with her phone camera and she, she even said her quality wasn't as good and sometimes it would be shaking and all that. Please, if you, if you have anything, any project you want to start and you think you don't have something to start up, I, I think I should ask that question. How, what, what way did you start with first? Okay. Um, I, acting is some, something that I started with. And then uh, with the acting, I started uh, through this drama, through, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, drama, I have to see and call. And then I go, I join them and then, we, we, we act and all that. And so I get some major roles, yes. I get major roles. And I'm good, like, I believe myself, yes. Hello, yes, I do. So I, 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 I'm good at it. That's a very powerful one. So I was introduced to it um, through um, some directors and then people's recommendations, you understand. And uh, it got to a time even Yvonne, Yvonne Nelson was was uh, trying to show interest and then yes, she was like, yes, she's she's gonna feature me in one of her movies. So we are here to see to that one too. Yeah. Okay, that draws me back to something. You are Yvonne's look alike. If you're confusing her to be Yvonne Nelson right now, then she's not. She's a younger actress and a mother who looks exactly like Yvonne Nelson. And Cherry, I want to ask, at what age did you start acting? Uh, age, age 13. 13 years? Yes, wow. 13. Wow. So by then I was in SHS and then I used to do drama, you understand? So storytelling, most of the times they even make me do the narr narration, okay? So I become the narrator of the movie. So you can imagine, if let's say we are acting on stage and I come in, then they freeze. Then I come in. So, guys, wow. where we go to there now, just explain the whole thing and it goes like that. So yes, I started yes, with yes. that and then I, I evolved myself in the acting and then, yes, it, it, it became positive. Yeah. And can you tell us more about your, you being a model? How the model, how did you dive into modeling? Um, okay, um, when we want to talk about modeling, um, I will say kudos to um, Glint to Africa. Um, they've been the agency that's uh, managing the aspect of modeling and then other, other talents as well. So um, modeling, I, I got introduced to Glint to Africa and then that is how come I got into modeling. And so far, so good. It's been good because we get um, gigs. Um, any gigs available, you are called to just go and shoot and then you get your kudi. Yes. Okay, that is, that is very nice. And if I may ask, from your pictures that we look as a model, you, you don't do nudes. Is, is, is there any concept or 
idea you have that you don't do all, like what type of modern are you using? Okay, um, the thing is there are different types of models or types of modeling, okay. Um, personally, I don't do it. That's personally. There are other models that do it, but myself, I don't. Yes. Sometimes people get it confused. Like, if you want to be a model, you, they, it's they, all about they think, this posing. Yes, they think about... Can, can you if, educate if, us or enlighten us more? If, if someone tells you she's a model, don't always think, like, she a uh, uh, or mm -hmm. it's about nudity. Mm -hmm. No. Modeling is about lifestyle. It's about our life. The, the dress you're wearing right now, it has already been... Um, as baited by a model. You saw it, you liked it. Oh yes, I like this. Because a model showcased it, you understand? Mm -hmm. So everything we do is about modeling. And uh, modeling is our lifestyle. Yes, and that is it. A model, the word model, because we have this word that uh, we always paraphrase, uh, role model, role model. When we say role model, you know that you're looking up to the person. So the model stands in to be someone you see and be like, oh, okay, I like this. I like this costume. I like this bag. I like this shoe. We understand. Okay. So that is it. There is a cliche that nudity sells, but my guest here shows to it and prove that without you doing nudes or exposing yourself, you can still be a model and be successful. Let's go for a short commercial break. And from the break, we'll get into her personal life and know more about Sherry. Audio Jungle show we still have cherry appreciate that come out with us in the studio cherry in, in our modern world in our modern world when they see any successful lady or woman doing things for herself and thriving they think they have a man somewhere that's pulling them up or helping them through all this journey don't ask are you in a relationship or are you married hey auntie sandra boy oh really <laughs> Please, though, it's my personal okay. property. Personal, bona fide, personal, you, personal. You want to disclose, you want to know that oh, are you in a relationship or there is no one. Let's, let's just know something like that. If you are, if you are, oh, she who she and I are meeting, or oh, is this is a I did it. Is there anything like that? So, oh, are you alone? Or there what? was nothing like that. There is nothing like that. Okay. Because if. If I, I had someone, I don't think I would have been striving. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes. So. Uh, there's, there's a strong woman once uh, over there. The strong woman. Yeah. I want to ask this question. Have you felt in a point in time that you, you want to give up? Or you always may feel that me and my boy, I feel my boy, my mama, you know. Have you felt the waiting in a point in time in life that you felt you are giving up? If you've not been shaken, before, then it means you aren't getting successful. You understand? Um, in all diverse of ways, yes, I have got or gotten to a point where I felt I should give up. Yes, and not, not just like any kind of give up, like it was so strong. 
felt like I can't do it anymore. Like, why me? And all that. You you ask all the silly questions and then you like, I can't do this again. And then you just want to give up. Yes, I've been to that point before. Oh, in such stage, what motivated you to be able to do it again? Um, I always picture um, my late mother and then also um, my kid brother. So they are the two core people that I always, it always rang in my head. Like, hey, you don't have to do this because you look at this, this is not good to you. Like your kids are not even up to you. You want to give up? No. So it, it gingers sorry, me to sorry, come back on my the feet. Loss of your mom and that mm -hmm. has so much to it. And I want to add this. So they are your key motivation. Yes. I want to ask this. Do you have any unique story that no one knows that Sherry is this or is that that you want to share to inspire the world? Okay. Um, no one knows. No one knows. No one knows. No one knows I, I sold panties uh, from hostels to hostels to get hand to mouth. No one knows um, I got a friend that supplies me the panties on a loan in order to pay later whenever my allowances come. Nobody knows um, someone like me, I mean, I lost both parents and uh, I've, I've been able to rise up to my feet to this point. Nobody knows that um, it's a whole lot. I can't really say all, but nobody knows. Yeah. And nobody, most people don't know. Let me say everybody knows, but not everybody knows that I'm into the health sector. Yeah, I'm in this my profession. My condolences to you and the family. And yes. And then this is a very strong one here. You can imagine yourself in the college, your friends are living luxurious life, going here and there, doing things that's lit. That's fun, let me say that's fun. And then you are there selling to them, going to them door to door to sell. Yes, that, that's, that's a, a, a bag of embarrassment and harass. Like someone out there watching our show today. This is a great inspiration and the best way to motivate yourself. You might find your situation even better than hers. Please make you regret at this age anything that you've maybe involved yourself in that you regretted as today. Oh, regression. When we talk about regression, okay, so um, let me let me make this regret in a form of advice because Minyayanka. Uh, but Nasunae, the Akechiri, the elderly always say this thing. And I wish I never rushed into relationship at a younger age. Like, it was one, I saw my friends dating, two, um, peer pressure influence, like I said. And uh, it, it made me feel like, oh, then let me also go and know what date. And I found myself. Like, after all, what? If it's not a, a, a smooching, kissing, having sex, and all that, what else? You understand? In Fasodibia, anything, in me, you understand it. So, everything you have to take it slowly. So, like I'm saying, the regression is in disguise of what an advice. Thank you. That's very, very good. So people should also notice that because life is not all about relationship or marriage. You should also help yourself and get something for yourself and improve on yourself before you think you want to help a man or you think you want to help a woman. Yes. Then get yourself in that. And Sherry, I want to advise you how to overcome in the various aspects of your life and any advice you have on such to the society. Okay. Um, one barrier is uh, in the aspect of relationship. I'm not saying it's, it's bad, but um, relationship have taught me a whole lot of things and uh, made me go through a whole lot of things. So 
like um, at the early stage in a relationship wasn't so good. So um, it was a barrier to me because if I had focused on what I wanted to do, I don't think I would have, um, like by now, I would have even been more than what I am today. Mm-hmm. Yes. So um, that's one barrier. And then another barrier is um, the fact that we have this society that discriminates people because you don't act like them because you, 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 you just want to be reserved or probably you just have your personal reasons for being who you want to be or who you are now. So um, let's say in a society whereby you get to um, like in the, in, the, in the space of friendship, okay, and then people expect you to go out have Club. fun, clubbing, <laughs> like Rain. have men and all that. And then you are the type that you don't want to have that. And then they they, they see you to be, oh, okay, she's Was like this, she's like that, you understand? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I feel Kobe or Honoma, I don't want to. I don't want to be friends with some people. And they feel like, oh, eh, or trying to home, and she's this and she's that. But it's not it. Okay. Yes. So... Um, those are the kind of barriers I had because it was a big barrier because I, I because I couldn't flow with such people so they all turn up against me mm-hmm. and they feel like this girl is this this girl is that but that is not it um I, I, only God knows people my heart give acceptance to people on how to they people want to their on life. how they want to they be. allow people to be who they yes. really are yes um, but that is also good because everybody has their rights to do what they want. So yeah. they should enjoy that right that had been acquired to them. Sherry, do you have fears? Fears in life? Uh, I fear heights. <laughs> <laughs> and? I fear heights. I fear dogs. Like, <laughs> I, fear, I like dogs, but I fear them. Like, I fear dogs um, in the sense that maybe, oh, we fear the dog is in someone's house and like, I think I think uh, one one of the times I was anxious. I was like, "Please, do you have dogs in your house?" <laughs> I was like, "Ah, this big girl, see her. Like, she's <laughs> afraid of dogs." <laughs> okay, so um, let's say um, I fear um, people that uh, 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 that they pretend to be good to you, but they are not. They pretend to. Um, be your good friends. They they are very close to you, but behind you they are stabbing you. So those are my fears. Yes. So if I say dog, I don't just mean dog. I mean dogs. Yes. Oh, okay. That's that's another one. There she fears dogs, and there's the bigger dogs that she fears. So you, you should know the dog, the kind of dog she's trying <laughs> to refer to. And Sherry, one more thing. One more thing. Let me see. Have you had or have you been in a situation where you have to educate people? I think you said you are you youth advocate. Advocate. Yeah. Can you share such activities and programs with us? And then with okay. your works, your previous work you've done as a youth advocate, please educate my youth or share with my youth and viewers. And okay. Viewers. When we come to youth advocacy, um, I can say that um, we have a group that we've set ourselves out to motivate the youth um, to also um, encourage them and make them become who they want to be in the future. So um, the first thing is, um, you know, life is true transitions and process. Okay, so you're from nursery, you get to class one, class two, you go to JHS, SHS, university. Even if you are not able to go to the university, we we have ways and means to make you get handy works in order to become who you want to be, you understand? So, yes, that is it. What's your take on the current trend, fix the country? Operation fix the country. Well, me <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yes. We all support the fact that you can go on demonstration and, and portray your, your rights um, in the sense that, oh, yes, I'm right. I need to do it like the country, like the president needs to do it. Like, no, no. Yes, yes, you're right. But please, your life should be 
Mm, Paramount. Okay. Yes. So make sure the demonstration you're going on or um, whatever thing, action you want to put out is not causing any riots or any commotion. Yes. Stay safe. Stay safe, she said. Because if you get yourself in a demonstration and then you misbehave and do all things that are going to get you into trouble, you might end up losing your life. And that's what Ghana thinks the country wants. We want a better youth, a better life, a good economy. And so, Cherry, can we get your final advice, final say to our viewers and then our shoots? To my fellow youth and viewers, I want to say everything you do, be yourself and make sure that everything you're doing, it's geared towards positivity, which will make you grow and become successful. Yes. So make sure everything you're doing is good and you are on the right track. Be safe, stay focused and do what you can do best for yourself. And can we know your social media handles? So to reach me on social media, um, Instagram, Cherry Ako underscore, Twitter, Cherry underscore Ako, um, Cherry Ako TV on YouTube and Twitter. Um, yes. And if you want to contact me for all your makeup, just name the type of makeup you want to do. You can contact me through my Instagram handle, MC Spalo or Cherry's Glams GH. Thank you. It has been a very revealing and exciting episode on the Youth in Focus show with my guest, Cherry Akosia Japoma. Hope you've been informed, inspired, and motivated. Catch me same time every Friday on our sub-exclusive social media handles. All thanks to my sponsors and Hofe Foundation Alata Seminar, EPB Media, Pass Graphics, and Wissens Collection.